Okay, we might just have 80 minutes. I'm trying to really, really scratch time out of my phone right now. To be able to... Uh, proper amount of time for recording and it's yeah you gotta delete a lot of stuff but that's that's fine I could just you know buy a card but I don't want to bother I want to be as lazy as possible when I do stuff like super lazy because when you're not lazy you're burning up and when you're burning up you're you're an idiot. You're ruining a life for no reason. So, and that's that's one of the things that people will hate about me is that I don't do that. I am just as lazy as possible, and I, from this position, I can just roast people really hard. Uh, they can really be affected by. my intention basically because I'm so fucking lazy I can always ask a question why are you doing this? why? what the fuck? what the fuck you doing here? I'm not gonna ask you why you're watching this video That's congratulations you're doing the right thing but also it's like I can't really entertain people right now there are so many games being made so many good stuff on the internet. It's like, what am I? I'm not gonna make games. Are you fucking be kidding me? The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a personality. At the moment, I absolutely will love programming, just like I did, loved it before. I, I got my laptop destroyed, which was the first hit for me, and. Then was a hiccup when I was making the engine was a small, you know. Well, I I did kind of burnt my computer basically, or it was a spark that just doesn't the computer doesn't work. Okay, and I'm too lazy to fix it. I know how to fix it. I'm just too lazy. Now, how the part. It's, it wouldn't fix much, right? It's not where I lost my data. My data was lost with another laptop. Just for some reason not turning on anymore. So... Mm, all data was lost, basically. But luckily there is a cloud. And there was a reason for me to upload. Or... I just had it in my computer and then my computer burned it's like oh you leaving me for the laptop now I, w I decided basically to instead of using the stand-up setup I'm kinda sitting down on my bed as usually it's like oh it's healthier to stand up not really I don't know it's like it's a really, little bit of too much stress you can just do the exercise whenever you want. Stretch yourself out, whatever. So, that's where the story... That's where I'll start my story at the moment. But the real beginning is obviously the end. It's like... The, the further I can go into history, in my history, that's the, the further that I'm gonna get to the end of the story. All I'm trying to do is just cut a huge chunk because uh, the recent history is only me struggling uh, in UK trying to get my own life together. It's not me at school being mobbed by other people, which is super interesting. It's it's not of that crap. But instead, it's just me trying to understand what rent is, what uh, what to do with my job being on the side, sometimes ruining my life. I, I really got some bad health because of what I worked. And I'm still working the same thing, except I cut it in half, which is two days in a week. And I'll keep it that way 
for a long, long time, probably, until something, you know, happens with whatever I'm doing, some success, whatever. Whatever happens, uh, I'll have to adapt, and I'll have to renew my story. So, it starts with me getting my laptop destroyed. Now, it was kind of like a sacrifice. It's like I could have saved and just took a bunch of punches instead of uh, getting it destroyed. Just grab it, save it as, as much as possible. I... I didn't really try to recover the data, actually. Probably should have done that as as much as possible. But I I like the lazy type of deal where, okay, it's a sacrifice, but it's also like lazy sacrifice, so I'm sacrificing even more at this point. Uh, I have a lot of hope for things, but when... <sighs> All I did was at put my hard drive into another laptop. See if it works. It didn't, so it's lost now. I'm not going to try that again on the, la the current laptop anymore. What I lost is a very small thing, which is uh, the ball game. But this small thing has stopped enormous amount of progress. And it wouldn't like recover the progress at this point because I kind of reset it into a very interesting position where I have the engine. I just don't, I just stuck in very small thing, but at the same time, I have to do something special. I have to analyze myself. And these are the stories, at the same time as I'm saying, like, why bother trying to entertain people, or trying to be inspired to like, oh, I need to entertain people. I actually need to keep people's sanity right now. It's like, be, f be a friend for them, just keep their, them company, keep, keep talking. It's like, that's the best I can do right now. It's like... That, that sweet spot, man. That's the best I can do. Is just keep on giving information and telling the story as it was and what I've learned from it. You can imagine uh, like me pushed into a corner and I strike first. My dad is like, we exchange. Oh, you're stupid. No, you're stupid. No, you're stupid, man. You're stupid. And even though, like, he's already making a fist, pushing me into a corner, it's like, oh, I didn't really attack you. But, you know. It's a little bit retarded when it's the aggression just escalates and it's like who is really escalating aggression it's like the one that's in the corner right now or the one that's just the other one the other one that, that's not even trying to move aside it's like whatever I can't move I was next to my laptop. That was my laptop corner. That was a very special place. And I was kind of protecting my laptop. But then at the same time I had to make a sacrifice. So I attack him. Obviously I don't think about these things. Just now I understand this, this sacrifice that I made. Also I need waters. I made a sacrifice. I had to do this. I had to punch my father in the face. Uh, give a few more punches, whatever. It seems like he's down. So I cannot attack him anymore. Right? 
He's down. He's faking it. I don't give a fuck. But he's bleeding as well. On my bed. Um, so. It pissed me off, you know, being stuck in a corner against a person that I don't like the attitude, but apparently that's what every single human being is these days. They're just the same fucking trash. So I try not to be that way, even though I was trash, and I still am trash, and there's a lot of stuff to improve, but at least I'm not trying to, like do bad things it's like no i'm not not going one direction where i turn turn into evil eventually by realizing how big of an ego i have versus what i can control in my life when people lose control over their lives they just flip over flip tables so I also have to, like, come clean, right? I have to share my story. Whoever wants to connect, whoever dares to listen to these stories. It's completely different content than I usually did, right? It's, my content is random. Random crap about, usually, games, right? Some flashy, cool stuff. It's really cool to watch... Um, and it's really good feeling when I look back at my thumbnails, just thumbnails, right? Uh, it's like, ah, uh, the memories. I was selling that shit. I, I would watch my videos, except that I, eh, I know what's up. It's amazing. It's like, it would really inspire me to work again if I watched those videos. I understand, so I don't have to watch them, so I understand, I, I get it dude, I don't go watch that, cause I get it, I will watch them, probably, ah, <sighs> but actually I just want to watch something else, inspire someone else, like do it, what, what you can do in this moment is a little bit more valuable than what you did in the past, that's what, the way I see it, even though it's, you can be nostalgic about it, but you can only be nostalgic and think, can I move a little bit forward with the exact same thing that I'm nostalgic about? So if I look back at my videos that I made, can I remake them? Well, and they're a long time ago, they're just so long, it's like... The spawn is seven years old at this point. We can just celebrate seven years, guys. Seven fucking years, dude. Ah, uh, it's all getting old, but at the same time, it ain't dying. I'm not gonna let it die. That would be fucking evil. So I lose my laptop. I go rent it to some old dude's place. Uh, well, it's a it's the friend that basically introduced United Kingdom to both of us with my dad and just it's it's really good to have someone else that is not a stupid person and he wasn't and especially when you get old you get less stupid so that's 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 congratulations for that guy he made my life a little bit better and so I traveled uh, to a game jam, which was horrible. Uh, but I, I guess it's gonna be a separate story. I already did a story about it, but my perception changes as well, a lot. And this is one of those times where I can actually make a story time, but be able to keep the perception the stories will be repeated over and over again, obviously because my perception will still get better. As I get some feedback, uh, remember a few things, uh, relive those things over and over again in my mind as well, because I'm telling the story, I'm re-watching it, it's just inevitably going to get better. 
so I have to just do it over and over again and kind of commit to that thing. What we have in the past, the videos, what, what's so nostalgic about my videos is that I just can't do it. I can't do better than that anymore. It's just so ridiculous. It requires another adventure craft, which is just a sparkle of just star sparkling at you. It's not gonna happen like in 10 years. You're not gonna see adventure craft happen ever again, like for 10 years. Because it's such a unique experience of being able to make a game so easily. Minecraft is not the same as adventure craft. It's just with programming, the difference that it makes of how much you can manipulate Minecraft is enormous. And this is what I've proven to myself and to everyone else. The Creeper's Forge. It's a wonderful story that happened in my life and it changed my life completely. This is the way that I kind of uh, added to my life that I want to make it. Make it happen, you know. This is one of those things that I want to make it happen. Make, it, make sure that it, the story doesn't die, at least. So this is the, the story that I want to tell as well. And so the game jam sucked. I just spent my time alone. I knew that I am completely different from everyone else. That I'll have to come prepared next time and save the event. Because you know how horrible it is. It is just just shitty event. So, also I probably will gonna get some friends along the way. Until the next game jam happens. I might just make a few friends here on the internet and you guys will recommend me where to go. Which game jam should I show up at? That, although, I might just create a few enemies along the way. It's just that fucking disgusting. Uh, how, how careful you have to be. You're gonna get your laptop destroyed again. Even though the real carefulness comes from... Uh, being nice to people, regardless. Uh, the ethics really went out of uh, being nice into being like, just fucked up. The ethics is ruining the world right now. And that This is where I'm at right now. Trying to change make any change possible, and I, I feel it, right? Like, I'm starting to feel like, damn, I'm gonna be doing some crazy-ass shit. Alright, time's up. Up for the next story of the Creeper's Forge. Stop the tease.